What's up guys, welcome to the video. So today, I'm just gonna take you through a typical school day for me as a grad student and a doctor of chiropractic program. My day, right now it's like 7 a.m. My day typically starts around like 5.30 or so, depending if I'm doing cardio or not. If I'm doing cardio, I wake up around 5.30, have my coffee, do my cardio, shower, and then come up here to start class or go to school and start class depending what day it is. I either have class start at 7 a.m. or 9 a.m. depending on the day. And then um, one day a week, this day, my 7 a.m. class is online. So I just go up to my office instead of driving down the street to school, which is kind of nice. Uh, I didn't do cardio today, so I slept in until about 6.15. Same thing, just had my coffee, answer some client messages and emails, and then uh, walked up here. And my next class is at nine, which I'll have to go to school for. And then I'll basically be at school from like nine to five. But yeah, this is the start of my day. Just have my lecture playing here. And then uh, use this one here to take notes. So that's the setup. Hi. Hi. So as I head to class, I'm just eating one of these for breakfast or whatever you want to call it, my first meal. This is Jack's Factory Authentic Bar. These are probably the best protein bars I have ever had. This mint chocolate chip flavor, I will say, is definitely not my favorite flavor out of all of them, but it's still really good. They're all a peanut butter base, and for me, the mint chocolate chip and peanut butter just don't really mesh super well together. But every single one of their other flavors I would no joke eat over just about any candy bar. And uh, yeah, so having that, and I'm already late, but I gotta go to my lab, and then after my lab, I'll go back home and probably have a little bit bigger of a meal. So let's do it. Clinical reasoning consists of data gathering interpretation hypothesis, shocker there, you can type right, generation and testing and critical evaluation of diagnosis. So my class ended a little bit early. So now I'm gonna go to like the cafeteria, lounge area, whatever you wanna call it, and just get ahead on some studying and stuff like that. Because I got finals starting next week into the week after, so and be proactive about it. Get ahead on all that good stuff. And these stairs are killing me. My legs are sore, as you can see. That's a lot of steps. It sucks. And it makes me feel like I'm out of shape, even though I'm not. So, yeah. Just got back from class and eating some protein ice cream with a little bit of fat-free whip on it and watching the new CNBC uh, Millennial Money, Graham Stephan. Uh, real quick, just how I make this, I'm not gonna do a full video breakdown, but basically just a little bit of almond milk, a little bit of Greek yogurt, some frozen strawberries. This is the protein I use today. The protein I use rotates. Um, this one's a little bit higher in carbs and fats. So I wouldn't typically recommend it if you're low on macros, but um, sometimes I just use a whey isolate, but these blends, like with the whey casein, uh, egg white blends and stuff like that, they tend to work a little bit better. And then I use a little bit of xanthan gum to thicken it up. And I'll either use powdered peanut butter or regular peanut butter, depending on the day. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna have this and take care of the dogs and then head back to class to keep working on stuff. Riley. Riley, hey, baby. All right. Oh, hi. Oh, 
Do we need a poop? I think so. Oh, don't. I'll turn the camera off, yeah. One thing about Georgia is that it's September now, and I've already gotten used to like the July, August, 90 degree, super humid weather. So now it is only 75 and sunny, and I'm like contemplating putting on a sweatshirt because like the breeze is making me cold. But I also just ate all that protein ice cream and I think it's making me cold as well. But yeah, I don't know, it's crazy. So, what do you think? Are you cold? You cold, lady? Riley? Hey, what do you think? Usually if it's hot, you like to lay out here. You're not laying down, so I'm guessing you're not super hot. Okay, we'll go inside. Also, this one here, a few months ago I posted a video about how we got a new foster puppy. And as you can see, that didn't pan out and we ended up keeping her. So little Riley is our fourth addition to the family and the final one for now. So um, yeah, but she's easy and she gets along well with the other dogs. So she made it, she was a good fit for our home. And uh, yeah, it is exciting, so. She is six months as of this video. So back up in my office, just sipping a monster. Well, I guess I, I was sipping a monster. It's empty now. Um, my One of my afternoon classes got canceled and the other one was just a review day. So I decided to just stay home and keep studying. I typically like to go back to school regardless I like working in the environment, just being in the library there or just on campus. I'm typically a bit more focused than when I'm at home, but I do like working up in my office at the house. It's uh, it's just very private. It's just, I don't know, I enjoy it up here. You know, I got like my flag, got all my stuff around me, got like my pictures here and just, uh, I don't know, it's cool. I like being up here and I'm not up here enough. So I do like to get up here occasionally. And uh, yeah, so that's why I'm, up here a lot today but on a normal day I would be at school probably from it's two o'clock now I typically have class still from one to five um some days until six but today's a little bit more of a chill day I guess and really it's just a lot of studying and a lot less classes just because I'm at the end of my quarter so gonna get after this uh, I should probably eat a meal soon it's about two o'clock and I'm gonna leave for the gym around 4 30 so I probably should eat something soon so probably gonna go do that and yeah i'll see you guys before i go to the gym all right so it's 2 45 ish and it's gonna be my pre-workout meal for right now um three of these like high fiber tortillas from trader joe's um <clears throat> uh, so it's got nine grams of carbs six grams of fiber for each of them which is quite a bit um nice fat free or sorry reduced fat cheese the absolute best hot sauce you can buy and then uh some 93 7 ground turkey in there so that's gonna go down and then i'll have like some pre-workout carbs before i go to the gym as well And we are finishing up a little bit more schoolwork before we call it a day. Um, just have a little more studying to do. So, uh, had a nice little break. You know, I finished up around 4.30. Um, 
earlier and then me and Emily went to the gym and came back. We took the dogs on their nighttime walk. They get a walk in the morning and they get a walk at night. So typically when it's a little bit cooler out because the Georgia heat's pretty brutal. And uh, yeah, so we went to the gym, did our like 30, 45 minute walk and had a quick dinner. And now I'm just finishing this up so I can call it a night. I'm only gonna do about like 30 more minutes of work. And then I'm gonna shower and then hopefully have time to watch some friends or some YouTube before we go to bed. So that is my day, not too exciting. I wouldn't really say it's like a typical day, but it's not like a, not really a non-typical day either as it's always a little bit different. I just wasn't really in class as much as I usually am today. And it was just a lot more like studying so I didn't really leave this room that I'm in now too often, but uh, yeah, that is my day. Um, maybe I'll post another clip after this. Probably not though, because I'm just gonna be getting ready for bed. So in that case, thank you for watching. Uh, please comment, subscribe, like this video if you haven't, and uh, see you in the next one.